Hey guys, it's Christy again, and today I wanted to film a video for you all about tape hair extensions. I have done a video in the past, which I will link down below, all about tape hair extensions right after I first got them. I talked to you about how I like them, how they felt, what they, how they, I put them in, um, and these are tape extensions. My real hair is about this long. Very, 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 very thin. I don't know if you can tell how thin. This side makes it look like it's not so thin. Um, this is all my real hair. So you can see just how long it really is. It's so thin, but on this side, <clears throat> I did have some breakage. I dyed my hair blonde, red, purple, blue. I had all different types of colors, but as you can see how thin it is on this side, you see that? How you can see right through it and how much volume this adds. So, tape hair extensions. First question, I get mine off of a website called Locks and Bonds. Locksandbonds.com, it's a great website. If you're going to order hair off of their website, I would recommend getting the Virgin Remy hair. Don't just get the Remy, get the Virgin Remy because I've been wearing these extensions for like 18 weeks maybe and they're still just as good as the day that I bought them. They're very good quality, they feel very soft, they don't get nappy, they don't get crunchy on the ends, they are very nice quality hair and um, they look very, very natural. I mean, of course they are natural hair, but I, I apologize, I have a cat right here who's trying to get on my lap and he is like driving me crazy, so I apologize. Um, but it is natural, 100% human hair, and I would definitely, like I said, recommend buying the 100% virgin Remy hair. For me, I have about two packs of hair in my head right now. I have very, 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 very thin hair, as you can see underneath here. You see that? If I use less than two packs, it looks too thin on the ends. So you see this looks very real. You would never know that this wasn't my hair. Um, I can show you how tape extensions work. If you're wondering what a tape extension looks like in the, my hair or like how tape would work in hair, I'll show you up close right now. You can see how the tape is. It is actually an extension. This is actually half of an extension. You can cut the locks and bonds extensions in half. A normal length extension would be one down here. Um, do I have one? No, right here. They're about two inches wide. It's hard to see. It's really, really hard to see. Can you see how that is? But it'll be easier if I show you up here. So the extension of itself is a strip of hair about this much hair and it's got a piece of tape on one side. You peel that tape off and they lift up a small section of your hair. They put that underneath. So you put the tape on like that. Then you take another section that's exactly the same size and you sandwich it over top. So you've got two extensions right here, two pieces and they sandwich together and create one weft of hair. And then I've probably got, let's count, maybe 12 to 15 pieces on my entire head. And, and that gives me the full extensions that you can see here with about two packs of hair. Um, I believe each pack is 40 to 50 grams of hair. It says all of the information on the Locks and Bonds website, which I would definitely go check out. Um, their shipping is great, their customer service is excellent, so if you're planning on getting um, tape hair extensions from anywhere, from personal experience, I really like them. I'm not sponsored by them, I don't, they don't own any of this content, they have not talked to me, it would be great if they did, but they don't. This is all my personal opinion. I just found them through Google searching, and I really, really like them. I'm going to give you the pros and the cons to having tape hair extensions. Pros look obviously feel very natural you can wash them color them dry them shampoo them condition them style them heat styling straightening curling updos not so much because you can see the tracks because i have very thin hair if i wear my hair up you can see the tracks and i look like britney spears post shaved head try to have a weave 
pros would be um, they last a long time. So like I, I've realized that the wear I get out of mine is about six weeks. I can't go much longer than six weeks because the tracks up against your head, right when they put them in, they're maybe like a quarter of an inch away from your head or less. And uh, about six weeks later, they're as grown out as mine are right now where they're about a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch away from my scalp. And they start to twist and they start to show and some of the edges start to flip up a little bit. Um, but you can take them out with 91% pure rubbing alcohol. All you do is I just take a little syringe and I put a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on the top, wait for it to soak in, and then I, <clears throat> you can just peel off the extensions. Now this is part of the con of these extensions. I feel like everyone just mentions the pros and nobody really goes into why these extensions aren't that great. So of all the extensions, bead, the micro bead, micro loops or whatever you call them, glue, tape in and clip in, of all of those, I would prefer the tape in. I won't go back to clip in. Clip ins are nice unless you have damage or breakage or very, very thin hair, then it pulls too much on your hair. And for me, it felt really uncomfortable. I always felt like everyone could see the track. So I much prefer the tape because you can't see them. You, they're seamless, you can't feel them. If you go like this, it feels like your head. It doesn't feel like you have tracks of extensions in. For anyone who has ever worn regular track hair extensions, you'll know that you can feel them, you can see them. They just don't look as natural. These are 100% natural. They move like regular hair. They, you can't see them hardly ever. The only time you can ever see them is like if you wear your hair in like a top knot bun, but you wouldn't be able to see them if you have thicker hair. Or if you, um, if they're really, really grown out, but really, I mean, you can't feel them. They're very flat down to your head. There's there's a lot of pros to these extensions. So if you plan on getting them, highly recommend them. I think they're amazing, amazing, amazing. For someone like me who has really, 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 I mean, you can see how thin my hair is, you guys. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It's not like just a piece of my hair. Like, that's it on the right-hand side. Like, my hair is paper thin. I'm gonna have to cut it and do a lot to it to get it to look any thicker. I had a lot of damage. So for me, I wear my extensions because my hair is so thin and so wispy that I look bald without them. And I hate that I have to wear them, but I totally do because I had such bad hair loss issues. So for me, I want my hair to grow a little bit more. And because I've been wearing these extensions, I've probably been wearing them for the last, I would say like six to eight months. It's hard to say. I've been wearing them for a very long time. Um, I would say I've been wearing them almost the entire last year. Um, I just, you take them, when you take them off, you retape them and re-put them back in. I mean, they're, they're reusable. So it's not like you have to just use them one time and be done with them. Um, for me, the reason I'm taking mine out and leaving them out, I may put them back in at a later date, who knows? I really like them. They're not uncomfortable at all, they're great. But what I, the reason I'm taking mine out and I'm probably doing it this week, I wanna take them out and leave them out, is because I do notice quite a bit of, not damage, I wouldn't necessarily call it damage because they're not really damaging hardly at all. Hardly at all. But I feel like my hair needs to be natural for a while. I don't think you're supposed to wear them over and over again. I feel like every time I re-put them in, my hair is thinner and thinner. And when I take them out, I have a really difficult time removing them. Some people say it's really easy. Some people say it's not. And I find it to be difficult to remove. If you plan on getting it done, I would say probably best to have a professional remove them. Um, I just use the what the Locks and Bonds website says. They say to put some 91% pure rubbing alcohol on the top of the tape extension let it sit for a few minutes and then gently remove it. It does not gently remove. In my personal experience, it doesn't gently remove. For me, I've realized that I really have to sit there and pick at them, I really have to pull, I really have to brush, I have to comb through my hair, and at that point, my whole head hurts, it starts pulling out my natural hair, and I get these little balls of glue in, stuck in my hair, and I've yet to find a better way to remove it. I've tried conditioner, I've tried really helping things along, um, but it's really, 
at this point, I have not found a better way to remove them. I do love the tape extensions. I do find removing them is difficult, um, but for the look, and if you really are looking for something that lasts a long time, that no one will ever be able to tell that you're wearing extensions, the color match is great. You can dye them. You can do everything to them that anybody else can. So it's really, really great. I think you guys will really love them. Um, like I said, I'll leave all the information of where I got mine and all that in the description box of this video so you can go check all of that information out. In my last video, I did explain some more about the extensions and um, I had a huge, huge description of that video. So if you want to check that out as well, you can do that. It also shows before and after of my hair. Um, I will be removing mine this week and probably in some upcoming videos, you'll see me with very, very short hair very very thin hair but I want to let it grow and I want to start treating my hair that I do have more I just want to treat it better because I feel like I treat it like shit and I've been taking biotin supplements every day for like probably the last month or so and I do notice that my nails are growing like mad and um, hopefully my hair also does as well who knows we'll see I guess um, this is a very chatty rambly video I apologize for that if you guys wanted more structured video I I probably should have done that for you, but I get a lot of questions about tape extensions, so I should have covered everything in this video, I would say. Um, removal, installation, definitely get them installed by a professional. You want to make sure that they are being installed perfectly straight on your head with not too many hairs and not too few hairs in there. Too few hairs and it will feel like it's pulling too hard on the hairs. Too many hairs and the tape won't stick and they'll start to peel up at the edges. So you want a professional who's done it before or have somebody who's really good at doing hair and can take instruction from a video very well. There's lots of instructional videos on the Locks and Bonds website. So if you're looking for information, I learned as well as my stylist did how to install them just from those videos because she had never done tape extensions before me. I'm the one who showed her them and now she does them all the time because if you're going to do extensions on anybody, do the least damaging, which are the tape extensions. They're very, very minimal, minimal damage. The only damage I really notice from them is when I'm removing them. Other than that, the damage is like nothing. Um, yeah, other than that, I do like them a lot and it's going to be sad to see them go so that we can get this really, really short hair. Oh, this is depressing. I guess it's not that much shorter. It's only like what, three and a half, four inches shorter, but it's so much thinner. It's just crazy how much thinner it is than my extensions. So, um, yeah, I hope that this answered your questions about the tape extensions. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as best I can, or I will try to make a follow-up video if I didn't answer a certain question. They are not cheap, but they are worth every penny. So if you plan on getting them, definitely do. The only downside really to me is the removal of them. And that's pretty much it. And you know, having to get them redone every six weeks, but it's better than having to put them in every morning and have that gluey, messy shit in your hair from the glue extensions or those little beads, having to sleep on beads. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanted to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you guys know the links are below as always. I think they're revolutionary and they're amazing. So I would definitely say they're worth every penny. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you at my next video. All right, bye. So do you see it right there? Mad Eye, stop! Cats are so fucking annoying. Anyway, um, oh God, chip diarrhea, chip diarrhea. My cat's entire ass is diarrhea, and I just touched it. I mean, it's dried, but... Mad Eye, why do you have diarrhea, my love? I'm gonna shave your ass tonight. I'm crying out loud. I gotta go shave my cat's ass. Like, this is what my life is. It's taping extensions and shaving my cat's asshole because he gets diarrhea chunks stuck in his butt hair. For crying out loud.